Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this video, we will learn about array and create array functions which are available as part of the conversion functions. First of all, we'll see what is array conversion function, what it will do. By using array conversion function, it will return an array from the single specified input. All right, let me show you an example or the demo over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having a flow with the name of expressions flow, which we have created as part of the previous sessions. All right, now over here, I'm having manual trigger a flow. What is the input over here that we are going to give it? We are going to give it as input string as the name of the field. And then we are going to provide the input in the string format. For an example, I'm going to give the string as hello world. I need to convert into an array by using array conversion function, which is available as part of the compose data operations. All right, this is our input over here. Now, I have already created a new step with data operator that is compose. And over here, if you see, I'm having the inputs over here. Let's select that. Where this array conversion function will be available. If you see over here, I'm having expression. Under that, you are having conversion functions. But if you see over here, I don't have this array conversion function. How can we get it? If you see over here, I'm having C more. Let's select that. There, it will expand the conversion functions. From there, you will find array conversion function. Over here, if you see, it will convert the input to an array. All right. But if you observe over here, I'm going to give the single specified input only for this array. All right. Now let me select that. And what is the input over here for this one? I'm going to give the input as input string from the dynamic content. All right. Let me click on OK. Now, whatever the output we are going to commit after converting a string to an array, the data will be stored inside the Excel by using add a row into the table. Let me show you that Excel once again. If you see, I'm having that table with the expressions. This is the previous data which we have used for the XML conversion as well as the JSON conversion functions. All right. And now, I'm having expressions workbook inside that I'm having the table one is the table name where you have the column name as expression output. All right. In the same location, I'm going to store the data after the conversion of a string to an array. All right. Now let me save the flow by clicking on save. Now we'll test our flow by clicking on test. And then I'm going to select manually and then I'm going to click on test once again. Now, I'm going to give the input over here as hello world. This is the single input that I'm going to give it in the string format. All right. Now let's click on run flow to see the output. Flow has been executed successfully. Before that, let me show you the output from the compose. Now, if you see over here, this is the string format which we have given. And you can see in the double quotes, the output we got it in the hello world. All right. Now, if you see in the input over here, this has been given in the type of string and you can see the input string as hello world from this input string we got the output in the format of array single specified input all right now we'll show you the same thing in the output in the excel that you can see over here it has been in the square brackets and the double quotes we got it as hello world this has been converted into an array by using array conversion function all right now, let's assume if I want to create an array with the multiple inputs. In that case, what is the conversion function that we are going to use it? In that case, we are going to use create array conversion function, which is available as part of the conversion function. By using that conversion function, we can convert a strings of values or different inputs into an array by using create array function. All right, we'll see that. Now, if you observe what is the difference for array and create array function, for the array, we are going to give only single input, whereas create array will have multiple inputs. All right, we'll see that. Now, to make you understand, I'm going to add one more input over here with a number, and then I'm just giving the input over here as a number, 
so that one is string another one is the number we are going to give it so that by using these two inputs i'm going to create an array creating a new array from the conversion function that is by using create array conversion function let's go to expression let's click on the see more for the conversion functions there you will find create array so what it will say it will create an array from the parameters over here you can see object one comma object two which we are going to give it a multiple inputs over there all right let me select that now what are the inputs that we are going to give it one is input string another one i'm going to give it the number so over here you don't require the same type of data types while you are going to create an array by using create array conversion function all right now let me click on ok now i'm um, the output which we are going to get it from the create array conversion function will be stored inside the excel by using add a row into the new table all right let me click on save to save our flow let's click on test to test our flow is working fine or not after giving multiple inputs to the particular flow all right now let me click on test once again now over here the input string i'm going to give it as hello world itself and then i'm going to give the number as 2021 all right now let's click on run to see the output now the flow has been executed successfully now if you see in the compose data operator now you can see the output over here one is string another one is the integer or number we have mentioned right by using these two inputs or the multiple inputs it has been created a new array by using create array function now for the string it has been given in the double quotes and the numbers it has without double quotes it has been mentioned over here in the array all right now if you go for the output now if you can see over here then a new array has been created with the multiple inputs inside the square bracket all right now to make you understand i will give you some more inputs over here inside the create array i'm not going to make any changes in the inputs i'm just going to be mentioning this different values over here in a such a way i'm going to give you as 21 is the input that i'm going to give it the value directly i'm going to give a value over here that is object that i'm going to give it over here or the number i have mentioned over here so that what will happen the output will come in a such a way 21 comma hello world in the double quotes comma 2021 if the array will be created and it will give the output over here all right let me update the inputs over here by clicking on update now let's test the flow by clicking on test and then let me click on save and test over here i'm going to give only two inputs one is the string another one is the number right but additionally we have given a numeric value with a static value that is 21 we have given while we are going to create an array so it will create a new array with all these inputs multiple inputs all right i will say welcome to new year all right i will say 2021 and then i'm going to run the flow once again let's click on done now the flow has been executed successfully now if you see in the compose i'm having the output over here you can see 21 is the number and the welcome to new year that is string another one another one is the number again 2021 it has been created a new array and it has given as an output by using create array conversion function all right let me show you the output in the excel now if you see over here i'm having the in the square brackets that i'm having 21 welcome to new year comma 2021 so in a such a way whenever you are going to create an array by using create array function with the multiple inputs it won't bother about the data types which we have mentioned inside the objects all right based on the values it will be considered and it will give an output by using create array conversion function i hope you understand how to convert an input into an array by using array conversion function and also we have seen how to create an array by using multiple inputs as part of this tutorial 
Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.